RC Maniacs. Hi guys, welcome back. So today we are going to play a little with the Red Cat Ascent 18, which according to me is the best small scale budget crawler on the market. Um, and I added budget in there because I haven't tried those more expensive ones. There's some small scale options for a few hundred bucks. This was $99 in their opening offer. I think it's $129 now, which is super cheap. And this performs awesome out of the box. I haven't done anything to mine. And I really, really enjoy it. And I do feel confident to say it's one of the best because I've tried quite a lot. I would try the RGT models. This is 116 scale. This is 118 scale. So maybe not a complete fair comparison, but this handles and feels bigger than it is. But this is also a great option. I tried some of the FMS trucks, which are pretty good as well. Might even call some of them awesome. I really like this one, for example. I've tried some other ones as well, but still, this is better in my opinion. I tried some of the cheap ones as well, which are fine for whatever you pay for them. If it, I think this is like 49 or something, so it's decent for the money. But if you want performance out of the box, lots of options, off the market options, hop ups, great support, and all of that, you should definitely go with Red Cat. So we're going to have a closer look at this. So this comes in four different colors, I think. We've got blue, gray, red, and just yesterday or today they released a bright pink one, which looks absolutely awesome, to be honest. But um, when I ordered, this is from the first series, the first batch. I went with the red one because I really like the way it pops out on the trail. And we've got this neat little hinge system. All super neat and uh, easy to access underneath here. All in one electronics. Uh, we got a 750 milliamp 2S LiPo in here as well, which is more than enough. I got a lot of runtime out of this. One of the best things about this, according to me, is how great of a low down control you get with this. It basically no stutter or twitching or anything like that. It's just super, super smooth. And it works awesome. And it's really quiet as well. Another awesome thing, you got all these options for wh where you want to uh, put your shocks to adjust the uh, geometry. This is all stock and I get some great flex out of this. Also pretty well balanced weight. I've seen I've seen some people move and turn and turn the motor around, move the battery there and the EC to the front just to uh, distribute more weight to the front, but I'm happy with the way this is. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. I've also seen some issues for people with the links breaking. Um, I haven't had any issues with that yet. And all of this just works awesome out of the box. Also seen some, some people uh, complain about servo, but I don't think this is too bad for a stock ready to run servo. Pretty quick, we got some decent strength in it as well. So, yeah, it's all praise <laughs> right now. I, I realize that sounds a bit, I don't know, but I really enjoy this. And this isn't sponsored, I paid for this myself. So, yeah, definitely recommend this little truck. I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I got some cool run footage from the beach, which I hope you enjoy as well. And, uh, Check out the links below and let me know in the comments what you think. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's head over to the beach and uh, do some crawling on the rocks.